நவம்பர் நைன்டீன் இங்கிலீஷ் சீனியர் இங்கிலீஷ் ஹை ஸ்பீட் ஒன் ஃபிஃப்டி வேர்ட்ஸ் பெர் மினிட் ரெடி ஸ்டார்ட் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டில்மேன் ஐ ஹாவ் கிரேட் பிளஷர் in presiding over this conference of minister of state governments in charge of social welfare and the presidents of welfare associations in the country on this occasion i would like to share with you some of my views for your consideration this subject of social welfare was mostly dealt with by non official agencies in the past it is only after the country become independent that the state and central governments have been making provision in their budgets every year and spending large sums of money for this purpose it is common knowledge that the governments elected by the people are responsible to the people and answerable to the legislatures concerned they have a responsibility to see that the money collected by way of taxes from different sections of the society is spent taking into consideration the requirements of the people and overall interest of the country while governments are at liberty to plan and spend for essential items of expenditure such as defense as far as economic matters are concerned i feel the economy of the family should be taken as the basis for planning because when the structure of the family is disturbed for any reason it becomes a social problem there is much talk of increasing the production of food grains and at the same time restricting the growth of the population so that the food grains that we produce would be sufficient to meet the requirements of the people no doubt there is increase in production of food grains and other goods on account of various development scheme but in spite of the family planning schemes it cannot be said that the increase in population has been checked to the extent we decide however the government are expected to take into consideration the problems faced by the people and spend the government revenues in such a manner as to benefit them it should always be remembered that healthy and happy citizens are the real assets of the nation next i would like to welfare of women and children in particular and also the unemployment problem facing the country you will agree that in order to make full use of land and increase agricultural production we have to see that irrigation facilities are provided by constructing dams across the rivers and diverting the water to the different parts of the country by such schemes it will be possible to provide jobs to a large number of people in rural areas there is no doubt that when once we make full use of the land and increase agricultural production we will have enough of basic requirements to start a number of industries in the rural areas which will further increase the employment opportunities i am making this suggestion because if employment opportunities are provided the problem facing the society can be reduced to that extent the most important thing that the government and the welfare associations should do is to see that the children are grown in healthy conditions and also given the right type of education as the boys and girls of today are the future citizens of the country just as the head of a family takes keen interest in bringing up children in his family the government should take care of the boys and girls in poor families that may not be in a position to take care of them for a variety of reasons if these children are not taken proper care of right from the very beginning it will be a matter for regret that in later years these boys and girls will become a menace to the society a number of welfare homes for such children will go a long way in this direction another important matter is the welfare of women it is said that if we 
give education to a girl it will amount to educating a family in the same manner in addition to educating the girls they should be given their rightful place in the family and the society in the welcome address the chairman of the reception committee referred to the family planning scheme in order to restrict the growth in population i agree that the number of children in a family should be limited so that the economy of that family will be sound and the family will be free from debt and disease while this scheme is intended for the people who are married we have to pay attention to an altogether different matter which is also of great social importance that is the problem of getting a girl married some may ask what is the problem in this matter people dealing with social problems are aware that the habit of demanding and receiving dowry is still there in spite of the legislation passed by government prohibiting such practice some people may demand dowry in cash while some other may accept it in the form of costly presents while there can be no objection to the parents giving as gifts anything they decide for their daughters it is a matter for regret that there are still persons who demand dowry as a matter of right this is the thing which should be discouraged i would like to appeal to the right thinking parents and the youth with progressive views to rise up to the location and put a step to this habit so that other sections of the society may also follow them and the evil of dowry can be removed from the society once and for all welfare associations having a very important part to play this respect which is of a vital important to the healthy development of the society they should impress on the people about the evil effects of dowry and seek their cooperation i am of the view that only when the evil of dowry is removed from the society men and women can become equal partners in the building up of the nation without any restriction i have mentioned only some of the problems within the short space of time i request you to discuss the matter freely and frankly and give your valuable suggestions i thank you for giving me this opportunity and wish the conference all success stop